were in the Diablo booth and I spotted something brand new that I knew you wanted to see. So we grabbed the foremost expert, the head of all of the Tifuses on these new Diablo oh, air blades. Can you get He's gonna spend a few William. minutes and we're gonna break them away. I'm coming. I'm right coming. Up. coming right I'm coming. Up. Okay, Vince from VCG Construction. Yes. Here, what, what, 2022 staff. Yes, we, we got the whole intro. We finally got Steven with us. He's gonna tell us about all the new Tifuses on the blades. Roger that. So what do we, what do we got? Cause I, I thought I spotted something different. Steven said it is confirmed, it's What do we new. got in that, that video you got of that demo, right? Yes. Cutting through, you don't know what you're gonna get into, right? True. Right, so what do you need? You need that performance where no matter what you hit, whether it's stainless steel unistrut, whether it's one by lumber or two by lumber or 10 by lumber, or you get into some mild steels, whether it be angle iron or steel pipe or metal. True. You need the performance to get through all that material, right? So this is stainless. That's stainless. This is regular steel. That's it. And then we have wood in regular the mix. Wood, right? Okay. You have nails in it, screws, fasteners, whatever it is. So some way you found the perfect chemistry the, of the, carbide and everything to cut right. all those. Tooth, ge tooth geometries, tooth they're pitch, pitch. Steven, yeah. they're teeth. Vari vari variable, <laughs> variable pitch, toothesis, te all the way up and down that blade to maximize that experience. And oh, by the way, we have a special black ice coating on this. Okay. That's gonna take it to that, deliver that up to 100 times the life of a standard bimetal blade and over two times the life of our competitive Carbide tip blades. I'm, I'm, I am so so carbide coated, variable pitch. It brings it all to handle everything you can throw at it. Wow. So here's a question. Yep. Like thick metal and all, but yep. I, I could, if in a pinch, need to cut an I beam. I, could I do it with this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now we have blades specifically yes. for thick metal, but guess what? What if you're cutting thin metal conduit? but you're getting into stainless steel. Hey, we've also got it in a 10 TPI, right? Okay. So the new amp blade in a 10 TPI, so for that medium metal performance, singles, three packs, Okay. all right? Whether you're just cutting conduit all day or cutting thin wall metals all day, but you want that extended life, again, with that amp, you know, optimized carbide teeth, coated with that black ice, you can just keep cutting and cutting and cutting. I just can't, I'm just, like, I'm yeah. just puzzled that yeah. So we have specialty blades, right? These are specialty. But no. if you're in like a it's not a, no, it's not a specialty blade because if that's the material you got to cut all day, that's the material you got to cut. Sure, that's sure. It's not a specialty. I mean, you know, especially when you get into healthcare or food processing, <laughs> they're going to be using stainless steel. Right. You need to make a cut up there, whether it's all thread, unistrut, thin wall conduit, I'm and just stainless puzzled, steel. Though. How can you get like I'm puzzled that you can get this blade right to do everything so well? Right. That's well, amazing. I mean, general purpose. Right. We got thick metal. We got general purpose. Yeah. We've got medium metal. Okay, so we were the first one to introduce that carbide teeth to the to the reciprocating yeah. saw blade portfolio. Continue to expand it, elevate that with the amp, and bring new solutions across the range. Amazing. Good to Thank see you. Bro. Good to All see right. you. We have any more demos? That's real. So, so you would never think of cutting out with it on an, an oscillating I, tool. I wouldn't. I would not. No, I, I wouldn't. Right. Because so I how would... many times have you killed an OMT blade on a nail or a screw? Blades done. Go into the truck, get another one, come back, smoke. What do you do? Oh yeah. Do you get the carbide tip, general purpose blade from Diablo? That's just a general right? purpose. Thing. There you go. So. In, in reality, how many cuts can I expect? Like if I had to, 
do this? We go for one, two, ten? Yeah, I mean, again, we're cutting it straight on the metal. If you were in the wood, it all depends on temperature. Sure. You could go north of ten. You could go. Wow. You could go very far north of ten. I just, I don't want to put a number out there because I it's understand. Different. I understand. This is Doug fur versus what are you going to get in Philly? It's going to cut different. Sure. You can go. You, it, it's a lot of cuts. So how, how do you accomplish? How do you accomplish? What's the technology behind it? So so the technology behind the technology behind the Diablo range, right? Sure. So superior grade of carbide, superior design. We've got a true universal fitment, right? There's no special interfaces or additions you have to clip in there. Okay. This will fit all the tools in the industry, except Starlock. We have a special blade for all the Starlock tools. So you're gonna accommodate both? Correct. Okay. Right, so we're going across the range, big time, but all the work's done here, right, with the carbide. However, there's more. It's actually a curve. So you can actually see a nice curve there. So you can start your cut where you want. For fast, accurate cuts, it creates that pilot exactly where you want. It buries that curve right where you need it and gets it in the material faster. Because you might be a carpenter in a finished grade piece of molding or a finished grade cabinet installation and you want to go in and fix something, you need to hit it right where you want it and make it a nice clean cut. That's where that curved edge really leads the way. So it leads the way with that curved edge, then it allows the carbide teeth, once you get in there, if you're in clean wood, great. If you're hitting fasteners, hardened screws, nails, whatever it is, but you saw five sixteenth stainless steel. So, so if it hits, because everybody always says, drywall. "Oh, nails, nails right. are one thing, but drywall screws right. are something else." So, if I hit drywall screw, I'm fine. Oh yeah, yeah. You want you want to control the vibration sure. just like any other cutting tool. Control the vibration. Nice consistent pressure. Don't lean in on it. Let the tool do the work. Let the accessory do the work. My next question would be. Yes. This general purpose blade. Right. So I always seem to run into the issue where I open my box. Right. And it's, you know, it's like, oh, I have wood blades here, but I need to cut metal right now. Right. Or I need to cut wood, uh, whatever. Would, would tradespeople be better to just buy these general purpose blades at that point? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Look, we got a full range starting whether, you, you know, we got carbide. You can clearly see it. We call it out on the blade, right? Okay. Carbide teeth. We got the red, a lot of information on the blade for you. Or we've got biometal where you can go clean wood. You need to make fast cuts in clean wood. Okay. You need to get into nail embedded wood. You need to get into your metal cutting, whether it's biometal or step up to carbide for that ultimate performance. So we can really dial it into that specific category. Okay. But in this case, we're showing biometal just to show you the power of what does that black ice coating bring, bring to it? What does that Diablo carbide and design bring to the table? for the end user who demands that professional grade performance with their oscillating multi-tool. So you have multi-packs, you're gonna be selling them? Yeah, singles, of, singles, three packs and 10 packs. So 10 packs. That's it. Because I don't wanna to have to think too much on the job. I just want to grab my blades. So go. although go. there are specialties, <laughs> I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of these. And go, be ready for work. Thank you, brother. Hey, good Appreciate to see you. It.